Here's another historic page from the Illini Scrapbook. For the News Gazette, I'm Mike Pearson. In part one of our Illini Scrapbook about Tug Wilson, we told you about his upbringing in Atwood, Illinois, his athletic successes with the Fighting Illini, and his participation in the 1920 Olympic Games as a javelin thrower. He then followed his formative years as an athletic administrator, first at Drake University in Iowa, then his appointment at Northwestern University. From 1925 through the first couple of months of 1945 as Northwestern's athletic director, he guided the Wildcat program to many of its greatest achievements. In Tug's second year, Northwestern's football team enjoyed its first undefeated conference football season, then followed that breakthrough year up with championships in 1930, 31, and 36. In basketball, Tug Wilson hired Dutch Lomborg in 1928, and the Wildcats responded with titles in both 1931 and 33. Tug Wilson's unparalleled leadership at Northwestern continued for 20 years, but that tenure in Evanston ended shortly after December 7, 1944, when sitting Big Ten Commissioner John Griffith died in office. Tug's fellow conference ADs immediately nominated him to replace Griffith, and on March 10, 1945, that appointment was made official. Over the next 16 years, Tug Wilson presided over some of the conference's most historic events. The University of Chicago's withdrawal as a member of the Big Ten Conference in 1946, then the admission of Michigan State two years later. The league's historic Rose Bowl Pact with the Pacific Coast Conference. The implementation of academic eligibility and scholarship legislation and the equal distribution of conference bowl and television funds. And of course, numerous national championships by Big Ten teams. Tug Wilson retired as commissioner in July of 1961, but he stayed involved in amateur athletics through administrative service in the Olympics and as a member of President Eisenhower, Kennedy, and Johnson's Council on Youth Fitness. He died in February of 1979 at the age of 82. For the News Gazette, this has been another historic page from the Illini Scrapbook. I'm Mike Pearson.